Folks, Mr. Tessalonian here. I have finished all the construction phase of our exoskeleton suit, as you can see here. We've got it all covered up, nice and painted. Our hands are ready to go and functioning. Let me go ahead and turn to the side. You can see the side profile of the suit here. You can see we put some nice furniture down by the leg down there. Let me go ahead and turn it around. Now you can see the back furniture. I put a nice cover back there, folks. That covers the winches and the electrical system. So that looks pretty nice. All right, so I just want to show you that in the full screen angle so you can see the whole suit at once. I've got the arms on free motion, which is just pulling the knobs on the winches, giving me free spool, so when there's no power, I can still move my arms. All right, so now we're going to walk up and just show you the whole suit now. I went a little overboard on the paint, but it made it look really nice, as you can see here. Gave it a almost an aluminum look over the entire system. There you go. You look down the legs. Another thing that's happened here, folks, is a lot of reinforcement. You can see here the legs are no longer one piece of flat stock, uh, which was this piece on the inside. There's now a piece of angle iron over that and welds and bracing going down underneath it. So it's a lot stronger on the legs than they were. Uh, the joints down here are now many sections thick. There's actually four plates throughout the knee joint uh, inside the leg. As you can see right here on the leg, there's reinforcement bracing all through it. There's even a piece of angle iron running down the back some bottom brace pieces, just to try to give as much strength to the suit as we could. So there you go folks, that's a front look. Let me go ahead and turn the machine around and give you a back look to it. So here's a quick shot of the back of the suit, and this has just got a couple ears up here at the top that fit inside of a couple little grooves to hold it in at the top, and one nut down here you undo and pull the whole cover plate off of everything. One of the neat things about this design, folks, like I said in the last video, was our power plant design. This allows us to change our power plants over. Not only that, but it's about two-thirds more efficient this way than other designs that are out there. Uh, most of the designs I see have a ram for each one of the joints. So you'll have to have a pneumatic or hydraulic ram for your elbow, one for your shoulder, one out here for your hands to move. Your leg's going to take at least three, one there for your hip, one at your knee, one at your ankle. Whereas this design would take one ram to move all three of those joints, making it about two-thirds more efficient than other designs out there. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed. This was Mr. Tesslonian.